Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we'll be remaking Migos' track, Walk It, Like It, Talk It, featuring Drake. So let's get FBI, open up! What's going on y'all? Taiko made this here and back here in Kyoku with another video. This day today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a sway lead dance hall beat. Um, it's gonna get you in your feelings. You're gonna go to the club. You're gonna have all the girls around you, but you're gonna be in your feelings and be like, you don't gotta do this. Um, so just start out. I know, Taekwondo, why are you using Logic and not FL? Listen, I don't know, but <laughs> if y'all want for a next upcoming video, I'll do like a Logic breakdown tutorial. So for all the people who want to use logic eventually or people who are new to logic or people who just want to you know know it just because it's another daughter now um throw a comment in the description and i'll do a basic logic tutorial and that's pretty much it so let's just get rocking right into this i'm just gonna let it play out so you can hear what i did if i hit the space bar that's the first thing there we go Let me turn this volume up right now. So I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to set a loop right here just so I can play everything out. All right. So this is the basic MIDI for this. This is just a piano. I have a piano and a bunch of pads layered on. It's pretty much just a pads all together with some top melodies and counter melodies. Um, but this is, the, this, is, this is the main melody. These are the main chords. I played them out on the keyboard. Oh, I drum a sour patch kid. Um... But I have this with a, did I put a, I didn't really EQ this that much. I just cut out some of the lows on it. Um, this is the same thing copied over. Both these, these are just pads. These are pads with some more EQing on it. There goes my EQ. Um, the, where, come on, where'd you go? Where'd you go fam? Come back here. All right. I have the highs cut out, I have the lows cut out. I just have the mid range. Just to give it some more airy, some more space. Same with this, same with this pad. Actually, this pad I have pretty much no EQing on. I just have some of the lows cut out. And th there it is again. You see it? I'm pointed at it on my screen, but you see that spinning thing? Come on, man. Come on. I'll just, you know, while we wait, let's have a nice conversation. So, how was your day? My day was great. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. So this this is the pad I used for that. It's 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 gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's somewhere back there. You you got a glimpse of it. 
all right so this is the main these are the main chords right here the only other instance of the chords that i have is this right here it's a key out of omnisphere this i have the mid range once again mid to low range have the highs cut out and if you don't know how the logic eq works the logic eq it works more like because how do I explain this? You have the fruity love filter and how like when you cut out the high range, you get that like low passy underwater effect. Instead of it just cutting out the high range, you're getting like that underwater vibe. That's basically how the channel EQ in Logic works. Right here, I have these two counter melodies. This one right here, this is a kalimba pluck out of omnisphere this is just a basic preset in omnisphere this right here this is a logic stock instrument it's pretty much the same thing that was used in unforgettable that i have layered with the pluck and both of them together you get this now for more counter melodies i have this pad it has like almost sounds like a voice almost like a vox It just gave it like sort of like a tropical vibe. And I have that layered with another pad. These are all the midis for this. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna string these together so you can see them better. But it almost sounds like you're on a beach just vibing. Just like you're looking up, you're getting that nice tan, you know. So I'm going to put everything together. Alright, so along with that, to fit in, I have this bass right here, this bass sub. This is bass feeders out of Omnisphere. Um, I forgot whose kit it is. I think it's Lo-Fi's kit. But I have it going along with the main chords of the song. Or say a song of the beat. It's not a song yet. Give it, give it time. Give it time. This will be a song. And right here when everything comes in, I have a woodblock going instead of the snare. Instead of the main snare I used in the beginning. But before I just go down that, let me go into the drums right here. So the drums, just a straight, you know. All right, it's not playing. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Just a straight. Okay, I messed something up. No, I didn't. All right, just a straight kick. Nothing extravagant. The snares is where it gets a... Uh... So this is a kit out of... I forgot where it was, but it's called Big Mono. It's called Big Mono. Um, for the docs, you get some Big Mono. Um, I did not say that. Uh, I have a layer with another snare, and I have a tremolo on it, so it gives it, so it pans back and forth, just so it sounds a little more lively. It gives it some more movement. And right here, I have a. Just a wood block going. Have a little bit of shaker going. Let me add in the kick. What is this? This is, this is just another snare underneath everything. I have a little bit of hi-hat bounce down here. I have a low pass on the hi-hat. Now this low pass, because how the logic low pass will work is, this is the equivalent of a the fruity the fruity love filter. How you would add a low pass and it gives it that like underwater effect. 
in Logic, the way the sound processor works, you just have to pull low pass on in the basic EQ and you get that underwater effect. So you get a... All right, and this is this is my ravioli. This just goes along with the big mono. Everything together. Now if I start from the beginning, this is just how it everything comes together. What I also forgot to mention is the speed is at 96 BPM. If you're in for dance hall, you're gonna want to generally keep it around like a 90 to like 105. I think Unforgettable was like 97 or something. And then like Signs by Drake, that was like, I think that was like 107 or something like that. So you're gonna wanna generally keep it in that range, just sort of a slow tempo. But that's generally this beat, so I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it play out. And I'm just gonna do an outro, cause you know. All right, so just slow this down a little bit, just so I can y'all can really hear me. So I want to just thank y'all for watching this video. There'll be more coming soon. More from y'all, boy. Tycho made this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tycho made this and you know thanks for watching peace